go to bed. Back on the shorts ratio, cause I hit my hand really bad, and I was just like, you know what? I don't want to do it on long. You know what I mean? It's about to make, about to be the new year. So just two weeks ago, a streamer that goes by the name of Normie went on an attempt to break the world record for staying awake, going full on zombie mode. Keeping your eyes open, not resting your brain, and staying awake for a total of 12 days, which he claims that the world record is, was 265 hours. Why did he decide to risk his life? Because why not? That is content nowadays. Even though a lot of people think it's easy to go viral nowadays, it is not. You have to come up with something very original or do something really, really, really messed up that will, you know, keep the viewers at the edge of their seat. <laughs> And with today's internet personality, if you go on an attempt on saving the most dogs in the planet, feeding the most cats in the planet, the viewers on the internet will be like, fuck that, give the dog chocolate, I want to see what happens. You have to do the worst of the worst, you have to risk your life in order to get engagement, in order to get views. Now this wasn't Mr. Nomi's first attempt, this is actually his second because he went and he failed the first one. On the second one, he took it really seriously, looked himself in the mirror and said, if you do not stay awake for 12 days, you are a bitch. That really motivated him, that he took it personally and he went on the attempt and the first few days, it wasn't really... There was not much attraction to it. A lot of people thought, his community mainly, thought that he's going to fail at this attempt again. But at day nine, that is when the traction started. That is when Twitter started talking, social media, everyone, they started talking about him. Because bro went full zombie mode. What? what, what you, don't you see I'm filming? Now, I'm pretty sure by now you've definitely experienced staying awake for more than 24 hours for some occasion. It wasn't intentional, but you did it. And I don't need to tell you how bad it is, how dangerous it is, how it's going to affect you in the long term. Most of you know this, but if you haven't experienced anything more than 18 to 20 hours. Me personally, I went on a streak of 35 hours unintentionally. It was just work after work. I worked three different jobs. And after that 26, 27 hour mark, that is the time where I was driving on the highway you cannot lay back you have to sit up you have to put your head next to the handle and, and i had to focus so much on not falling asleep i saw flying rainbows i saw unicorns on the highway racing me i saw my dead grandma in the third lane you will see a lot of things that is one side effect of it hallucination now imagine nine ten times of that what kind of hallucinations you will be seeing after the 200 mark everyone started talking about him saying the longest time awake it appears he is phasing in and out consciousness and has lost the ability to read he replied to that saying this is mis information i regained my ability to read this was my english two years ago he picked forty thousand people everyone there to watch what happens to watch him go zombie mode and i have a lot of questions in this 12 day stream what the fuck do you talk about? You sit in front of the camera. Okay, you go through Twitter. You go through TikTok. You play some games. But for how long? That's like 12 hours max. But unfortunately, 12 hours till he hits his goal for 265 hours. YouTube banned him for dangerous activity and self-harm causes that goes against the community guidelines but even though mr normie was seeing invisible cats and was having a lot of hallucinations did that stop did the ban stop him from continuing the challenge nope he had forty thousand people waiting for him to see what happens he had millions of people's eyes on him he would this was his peak career moment was he gonna let it slide because he felt like sleeping nope he had a flashback of the conversation he had in the mirror that if he falls down he's a bitch and he decided to take it to the next platform without even sleeping he decided to move to kick the platform that allows you to do anything saying in his tweet never back down never what but apparently kick is going family friendly right now and they banned him even on kick and what happens when you get kicked up off of youtube you go to twitch what happens after twitch you go to kick after kick that allows you to do anything if you get banned from there what's next that is when rumble comes in and just three hours and some change until he beats the world record police decided to come to his place and do a well welfare check on him no, so I've, got, I've got a million yeah. subs so i've just gotten docs which has never happened before ever so if you see there i just live stream myself sometimes and I, what they've done is they've yeah. called in just like a bunch of fake 
complaints, yeah. they've made up stuff, just a waste of your time, waste of everybody's time. Yeah, it's just this is the second call we've had to the address. As I was just saying, you mate, like we pretty much just want emails just to check our email, check your blood pressure, and then from and there, it's all sweet. We'll just clear we're happy enough. It's just right. if something does happen, just due to your body, I don't know enough about this, but you shut down all of a sudden and you can't get. So just want to make sure the name, just check out and make sure you're off. Now, fortunately for him, he didn't have any black eyeliners, no leash on his neck or, you know, full black outfit with Harry Styles, full black brunette hairstyle. So he wasn't doing anything illegal. He was just going for a world record, even though he didn't have any professional present with him. But he paid his friends to stay with him 12 hours a day just to keep him awake by uh, spanking him, slapping him in case he wants to fall asleep. For this wholesome moment for beating the record for 264 days, he decided to bring his mom and friends and celebrate it together. Six, five, four, four three, 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 two, two, two one. one. Beat it! Yeah. Now, this is where the controversy comes in. It is mentioned that the world record for staying awake is 265 days, but apparently it is not. 453 hours, 40 minutes, which is 18 days that a guy went in 1986 without sleeping. And I'm pretty sure Normie, before starting this whole challenge, he did his research, and obviously it's all over Google that the person in 1986 is the actual record holder. Everyone, including Committee Guidelines, was slapping him with, wait till he finds out that the record is actually not 265 hours. And even Mudohar made a tweet saying it's going to be rough when he realizes the record is 18 days, not 11. Now he responded to this saying, I went for a record without using stimulants. That guy used caffeine. Now it is true, the guy from 1986 used caffeine and he had professionals next to him. If you want to go without caffeine, that is, I guess, a different world record, but we have to verify, we have to wait to see if Guinness World Record is going to give him a record for this for going uh, on a l staying zombie streak without using any caffeine drugs to stay awake. After staying awake for 12 days, your body gets used to it. It becomes something so normal that you don't even know how to sleep anymore. But the second you put your head on that pillow, sleeping beauty mode. After he broke the record, he decided to do a sleeping stream and he went for a strike and he had a successful sleep of almost 39 hours. And some of the side effects he was having was some rashes on his hand because his body didn't know what to do with the situation without getting rest for 12 hours. His brain and body started having some miscommunications. They started glitching and he started getting some rashes on his hands. But fortunately, he went to the hospital and he came out saying that he's going to survive. He is fine. Those rashes are going to go away very very soon now some of the other side effects for going for this attempt is increased risk of condition like diabetes alzheimer disease periodosis insulin resistance and potential sexual dysfunction. you can also feel drowsiness anger increased risk of s stress decreased alertness this is very true your focus level goes to minus zero Impaired uh, concentration, brain fog, fatigue, tremors, reduced condition, increased risk of mistakes or accidents, food craving, puffy eyes, dark underlined circles, and 48 hours without sleep can cause depression, hostility, memory loss, feeling of being outside of your body, difficulty forming thoughts and sentences. You can also have so many cravings for food. You can get uh, obesity, you can get a heart disease, high blood pressure, stroke, kidney disease, certain cancers as well. Long story short, you damage everything physically, mentally, emotionally, everything, brain, even you damage your brain. So if that new game comes out and you're so excited to play it and you cannot control yourself and you stay up all night till morning playing it, think of all the things that I just mentioned. And obviously a lot of people or maybe even you are thinking, okay, how do we know this is verified? How do we know that he went forward with this and he didn't fake it along the way? Well, when you go live on YouTube, majority of the time he was live on YouTube. When you're live on YouTube, you can only stream up to 12 hours, then your stream is going to go archived and then you have to start a new stream. He did that. He had a long form of them, a shit ton of, I don't know, 20, 30 something uh, streams. So he was not leaving any break more than five minutes in between these streams. And, but... Unfortunately, now I cannot find any of the streams because after YouTube banned him, they also removed all the live streams that include this challenge, this attempt. 
for community guideline reasons. And funny enough, obviously he got unbanned from Kick. Uh, and yesterday he went live and he start another world record. Apparently that's his thing right now. He wanted to go for a title of the guy who would eat the most cactus in the world. And Kick again was like, nope, fuck off. And this reminded me of a movie that I watched back in 2021 called Awake, where I don't really remember exactly what happened, the cause of them not being able to fall asleep. And I won't spoil it for you. It's a good thing you can go watch it without it being spoiled but the whole context of this is something happened and like 99.999% of the world are not able to sleep. Only a few people like this little girl got the advantage of being able to sleep and the world was chaos after day three. It really showed how delusional people will get and how angry and how they're not really themselves after day three so in conclusion was all of this worth it he got hundred thousand new subscribers to his channel he went from 1.2 to 1.3 million but was it worth it for damaging yourself long term and going through this shit show bury yourself on the ground for seven days like mr beast even that's not worth it. But at least you'll be able to see. Imagine Mr. Beast's next video is whoever stays awake for 24 hours will win $100,000. And let's see how long you can go for it. That, that will be war crime. Not if you're sleeping and the light is on and you're suffering. Anyways, just thought this whole thing was really stupid. And I just wanted to share it with you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like, subscribe. We have a Discord channel. Second channel for extra videos. If you eat more than twice a day and watch my videos, there are more videos on my second channel. Anyways, take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.